Hey guys, so I'm about to react to History of Japan by Bill Wirtz. He did a video that I reacted to a few months back called The History of the World, I guess. Um, I got a fair bit of flack for that video. It's, it's popular, a lot of people checked it out, but I had to turn the comments off because I was getting attacked a lot in that one, mainly because my reaction wasn't quite animated. When I was watching it, I was quite confronted with what I was seeing. I was like, I was being bombarded with information, so I didn't feel like I could get a word in. And when it finished, I really didn't have anything to say because I was like, wow, what? So I was, I was blown away by what I saw. So the, the criticism for that reaction video is well-founded. I usually try to get more commentary along the way. Um, so I'm going to check out History of Japan now. So once again, if I, if I can't get a word in, I'll, I'll try and get something in at the end. I'm not one of those reactors that pauses the video along the way. I just like to watch it uninterrupted and just see what it tells me. But um, yeah, so apologies to all of you who, who hate me from that first one. So let's check out History of Japan from Bill Wirtz. Hoping that this doesn't assault my senses as well. But hey, educational, right? Yeah, let's go. Just going to make sure I don't blow my ears off. All right, three, two, one, go. Japan is an island by the sea filled with volcanoes and it's beautiful. Beautiful. In the year negative a billion, Japan might not have been here. In okay. the year negative 40,000, it was here, and you could oh, walk to good. it, and some people walked to it. Nice. Then it got warmer, some icebergs melted, it became an island, and now there's lots of trees. And because earthquakes. It's warmer. So now there's people on the island, they're basically sort of hanging out in between the mountains, eating nuts off trees, and using the latest technology, like cool. stones and bowls. Ding dong, it's the outside world, and they have technology from the future, like really good metal and crazy rice farms. Oh, I love now rice Now you can farms. make a lot of rice really, really quickly. That means rice. if you own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something everybody needs to survive. I like food so too. So that makes you king. Yeah, rice man. farming and rice kingdoms spread across the land, all the way to here. The most important kingdoms were here, 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 and here. But this one was the most, most important, yeah, ruled by a heavenly superperson, or emperor for short. Jojo. Knock, knock, get the door. It's religion. The new prince wants everyone to try this hot new religion from Buddhism. Please try this religion, he said. What about no, monkey said magic? Everybody. Try it, he said. Try it. No, said everybody again, <laughs> quieter this time. And so the religion was put into place, and all the rules that came with it. Then the government was taken over by another clique, and they made some reforms, like making the government govern more, and making the government the more like China's reforms. government, which is a government that governs more. Hi, China, they said. Hi, dipshit, said China. Oh, that's Can rude. you call us something else other than dipshit, said Japan. <laughs> like what, said China. How about sunrise land? I like it, said Japan. And they stole China's alphabet and wrote a book about themselves. Oh, and then cool. they made lots of poetry and art and another book about themselves. Then they stopped moving the capital every time the emperor died and kept it in one place for a while. Right Kyoto. here. And they conquered the north, finally. Get that squared away. Nice. A rich hipster named Kukai is bored with Could modern have a visit, visits China, and learns a better version, which is more spiritual. Comes back, reinvents I love the, the little and causes art and literature to be great, great for a great long bits. time. And the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art that they really didn't give a shit about running the country. So if you live outside love the palace, Japanese how are you culture. supposed to protect your shit from criminals? Hire a samurai. Yeah, Everyone boy. hiring samurai. Rich, important people hired samurai. Poor people who could not afford to hire samurai did not hire samurai. They the samurai became ninjas. organized and powerful. More powerful than the government. So they made their own military government. Here. They let the emperor still be emperor, but the shogun is actually in control. Right. Breaking news. The Mongols Whoa. have invaded China. We've invaded China, said the Mongols. <laughs> Please respect us or else we might invade you as well. Okay, okay said Japan. So the Mongols came on over point. ready for war and died in a tornado. But they tried again and had a nice time fighting with the Japanese, but then died in a tornado. Really? Then the emperor overthrows the shogunate. Then the shogunate overthrows him back and moves to Kyoto and makes a new shogunate. And the emperor can still dress like an emperor if he wants. That's fine. That's now there's more art. Like painting with less colors, collaborative poetry, plays, monkey fun, tea parties, monkey gardening, fun. architecture, flowers. It's time for who's going to be the next shogun. Usually it's the shogun's kid, but the shogun doesn't have a kid. So he tries to get his brother to quit being a monk and be the next shogun. That won't he work. says, okay, but then the really? shogun has a kid. So now who's it going to be? Oh, shit. Look now on your phones. And everyone voted so hard that the palace caught on fire and burned down. The shogun actually didn't care. He was off somewhere doing poetry. Okay. And the whole country broke into pieces. Everyone is fighting with each other for local power. Cause and of it's earthquakes. anybody's game. Knock, knock. It's Europe. No, they're not here to take over. They just want to sell some shit. Like clocks. Cool. And guns. Guns. And Jesus. So that's cool. But everyone's still fighting each other for control. Now with guns. And wouldn't it be nice to control the capital? which right now is puppets, with no one controlling them. This clan is ready to make a run for it, but first they have to trample this smaller clan, which is in the way. Oh no! Surprise! The smaller clan wins, and the leader of that clan steals the idea of invading the capital and invades <laughs> the capital. And it goes very well. 
He's about halfway through conquering. Why am I laughing? This is history. I should know this. And then someone else who works for him. I don't know. And that guy finishes conquering Japan. Cool. And then he confiscated everybody's swords and made some rules. And now I'm going to invade Korea and then hopefully China. He said and failed and also died. No oh, shit. Before he died, he told these five guys to take care of his five-year-old son until he's old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. And the five guys said, "Yeah, right. It's not going to be this kid. It's going to be one of us because we're grown-ups." And it's probably going to be this guy who happens to be way more rich and powerful than the others. <laughs> a lot of people support him, but a lot of people support not supporting him. They have a fight, and he wins. Oh and wow, starts a he's new a champion right here. He, he still lets the emperor dress like an emperor. Why though? Very nice things, but don't get confused. This is the new government, okay? And they are very strict. Ooh. So strict they close the country. No speeding. No one can leave, and no one can come in except for the Dutch if they want to buy and sell shit. But they have to do it right here. Now that the entire country was not at war with itself, the population increased a lot. Business increased, There's a lot of schools people there. were built, roads were built, everyone learned to read, books were published, there was poetry, plays, sexy times, puppet shows, <laughs> and Dutch studies. People started to Everybody study European science from times. books they bought from the Dutch. We're talking geography, skeletons, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and maybe even electricity. Wow. Over time, the economic and cultural prosperity began to gradually slow down. Oh. Knock, knock. Who's that? It's the United States. With huge boats. Huge boats. With guns. Guns. Gunboats. Gunboats. Open the country. Stop having it be closed, said the United <laughs> States. There was really nothing they could do, so they signed a contract that lets United States, Britain, and Russia visit Japan anytime they want. Choshu and Satsuma nice. hated this. That sucks, they said. Okay. This sucks. Wow. And with almost very little outside help, they overthrew the shogunate and somehow made the emperor the emperor again and moved him to Edo, which they renamed Eastern Capital. And he's wearing new clothes. They made a new government, which was a lot more Western. They made a new constitution that was pretty Western and a military that was pretty Western. Pretty Western. And do you know what else is Western? What? That's right. It's conquering stuff. Western stuff. So what can we conquer? Korea. They conquer Korea, taking it from its previous owner, China, Excellent. and then go a little bit further. And Russia rushes in out of nowhere and says, Stop, no, you can't take that. We were going to build a railroad through here to try to get some warm water. <laughs> and Russia builds their railroad, supervised by a shit ton of soldiers. And then when the railroad was done, they downgraded to a fuck ton. Fuck Did I say ton. downgrade? I meant upgrade. And Japan says, Can you maybe chill? And Russia says, How about maybe you chill? Japan is kind of scared of Russia. You'll never guess who's also kind of scared of Russia. Great Britain. So Japan and Great Britain make an alliance together so they can be a little less scared of Russia. Nice. Feeling confident, Japan goes to war against Russia. Just for a moment. And then Just they for a moment. And stop. It's time for World War I. The world awesome. is about to have a war. Because it's the 1900s and weapons are getting crazy. And all these empires are excited to try them out on each other. <laughs> Meanwhile, Japan has been enjoying conquering stuff and wants more. And the next thing on their list is this part of China and lots of tiny islands. All that stuff belongs to Germany. Okay. Which just had war declared on it by Britain because Britain was friends with Belgium. Bloody Germany. Being trespassed by Germany in order to get to France to kick France's ass because France is friends with Russia, who was getting ready to kick Austria's ass because Austria was getting ready to kick Serbia's ass because someone from Serbia shot the leader of Austria's ass. God damn. Or actually shot him in shot the head. Shot in the ass. And Britain is currently friends with Japan. So you know what that means. Warfare. Duh, Japan should take the islands. Which they wanted to do anyway. <laughs> so they called Britain on the telly to sort of let them the know. telegram. And then they did it. And they also helped Britain a little here and there with some errands and stuff. Getting very close to Australia. Now the war is over. And oh. congratulations, Japan. Well done. You technically fought in the war, which means you get to sit at the negotiating table with the big dudes. Brilliant. Where they decided who owns what. And yes, Japan gets to keep all that shit they stole from Germany. Nice. You also get to join the post-war mega alliance. The League of Nations. Ah, whose mission statement is to try League to take over the world. The Great Depression is bad, and Japan's economy is now crappy, but the military is doing just fine, and it evades Manchuria. In the League of Nations, it's like, no, don't do that. If you're in the League of Nations, you're not supposed to take over the world. No. And Japan said, how about I do anyway? And Japan what invaded more and more and more and more of China, wow. and was planning to invade the entire East. You've got mail. It's from Germany, <laughs> the new leader of Germany. Oh. He has a cool mustache, and he's trying to take Hello, over the world and needs friends. He's lovely. He's also got forwarded to Italy. Nice. They all decided to be friends, because they had so much in common. It's time for World War. Great Germany sequel. is invading the neighbors. Then they invade the neighbors' neighbors. Then the neighbors' neighbors' neighbors, who happened to be Britain, said, "Holy shit!" Holy shit. The United States started helping Britain because they are good friends, and started not helping Mitchell Japan mates. because they're friends, and our friends are not friends. Plus, they're planning on invading the entire ocean. Mm. The United States is also working on a large, very huge bomb, mm. bigger than any other bomb ever. A big bomb, just in case. But they still haven't joined the war. War looks bad on TV, and the United States is really starting to care about their image. But then Japan spits on them in Hawaii yeah, and I challenges sure them to war. And they say yes. And then Germany, as a symbol of friendship, declares war on the United States also. So the United States goes to war in I Europe, love this. and they help the gang chase Germany back into Germany. And they also start chasing Japan back into Japan. 
and they haven't used the bomb yet and are curious to see if it works. Let's try it out. Yeah, it worked. You're they actually dropped two. Crap. Not funny. It's actually kind of depressing. You win. United States installed a new government, inspired by the United States government, with just the right ingredients for a post-war economic miracle. And Japan starts making TVs, VCRs, automobiles, and camcorders as fast Benio. as they can, and also better than everybody else. They get rich, and the economy goes wild, and then the miracle wears off. But everything's still pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> anime. Anime comes, and I love anime. That's cool. Um... A lot of stuff coming out, yeah. But he does an amazing job putting all this together. I can imagine the amount of hours he put in um, and still retaining that humor as well and being educational at the same time. So he does amazing videos. So I hope you enjoyed that one a little bit more than my previous one. I'm just staring at the screen like... But that's not a reaction. That's just being... It's a non-reaction. But I reacted to this one, so I said stuff. But um, <laughs> like I said, Japan... I want to go there. I really do. We've got holidays coming up. The missus and I are next. What We're just kind of like in the planning phases right now. So I think Japan is definitely one place that we'd like to go to. Such a big cultural history too, as we've just discovered. Well, we should know that. We, I went to school. I had history classes, guys. I know a little bit of stuff. You just don't retain much as you get older. The brain cells start dying, especially, especially when you start putting beer in there. And things fall out when you're old. Off track once again. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.